And TVC News Femi Akonde joins us now for more. Um, Femi, between um, moving his things out of his official residence and the search of his residence, um, what more do we know now? very difficult to uh, get information surrounding uh, the travels of Ibrahim Magu. Even here at the headquarters of the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, everything has been hush-hush. We uh, are finding it really difficult to read the mood around here. Even the operatives here would not want to talk to us. A lot of them would not want to be seen talking to us. And it's not uh, surprising considering uh, the sensitivity of this matter. We have been asking them questions about uh, the chairman of the EFCC, Ibrahim Mago, moving his personal belongings out of his official residence at uh, Maitama. We, have, we are asking them questions about the search on his private residence in Cairo. And also, we are also hearing media reports that uh, some people came to the headquarters here, some operatives came to the headquarters here to also move out some of his belongings. But the people at the EFCC headquarters will not confirm or deny any of these. But one thing we know that is going on is that Ibrahim Mago, for the third day now, is facing a presidential panel set up to probe activities of the EFCC. Uh, this uh, follows a letter written by the Attorney General of the Federation and uh, Minister of Justice. Uh, alleging uh, that uh, Ibrahim Magu uh, has uh, commit, uh, abused his office and also uh, carried out some activities that uh, he believes is uh, not appropriate uh, according to uh, the rules guiding the EFCC. Precious. So, um, Femi, we also know that he was taken to Area 10, um, presumably in custody, for the second night. Um, do we know why he's still being kept at Area 10? Well, it's just uh, for a seamless investigation. Uh, they would want to keep him, we believe they want to keep him in custody so that uh, they can have access to him any time that uh, he is needed to come answer some questions. We're also hearing, we had yesterday that he was suspended. There is no... Uh, official confirmation to that effect but what the only thing we have had from the presidency is that nobody is above scrutiny and indeed a panel was set up by mr president to probe the activities of the efcc and uh, that is just uh, the credible information that we can lay our hands on for now absolutely femi the sensitivity of this um I mean, we're not getting information as much as we should. But thank you for keeping an eye on that story for us, Femi. And we'll continue to bring you more updates as we get them.